Hey guys, welcome back to my colourful country life. So today is my wrap up from March with all of my completed pages for the month. Now March was actually quite a busy month for me channel wise and I have managed to complete nine pages this month from seven different books and I've uploaded 17 videos to YouTube this month. So like I said, quite a big month. So let's dive straight into it. And I'm going to start with my long-term whip, um, which is now finally completed. And it's from Hannah Carlson's book, Seasons. So, I am so glad to have finally completed this page, um, which has actually left me with only one whip left in my collection, um, which I'm also hoping to complete eventually. It's been sitting untouched for about uh maybe four years now it's one of the pullouts from the back of um a joanna basford book i think it's in world of flowers so that one you might start seeing pop up soon um anyway so this is quite a busy double page um part of me still wishes i had used green for the background and not had any of the blues on the page whatsoever but since I did use the blues and the purples in the background I brought it through to other elements on the page um, just so it wouldn't contrast too much and stand out um, so what did I use I used Prismacolor pencils for all the pencil work um, we've got Neo Color 2s for the background I used pen touch gold on the necklace here um, I've got Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust in orange on the flowers. I'll lift that up. Um, see if you can see the sparkle. I can't see the screen, so I'm not quite sure if it's showing up or not. I've also used it here on the earrings. Um, and we've used Sakura Jelly Roll Metallic on the bugs, the flower stems here the tiara the earrings basically all of the gold sparkly details other than the necklace and these ones on the flower sort of a dull gold i guess more like a i was going to say copper but it's not really a copper it's sort of a dull tarnished gold color um what else we've got secure jelly roll glaze which is on top of the amber gemstones and it sort of puffs it up a little bit see if that shows um oh i can also see um a red glaze here jelly roll stardust red glaze as well on these little beads that i haven't written down um we've also got signo white which is on our highlights of our flowers in our eyes here as well and on some of our gemstones i can see is that silver stardust as well yeah, we've got silver jelly roll stardust as well with the gold stardust metallic on this necklace and the glaze here as well in the red. Quite a few different pens on this page, isn't there? Um, and we have a wink of Stella, which I'll lift it up once again. The wink of Stella is on the wings of our bugs and it is very slight. This one you might see. I think the sun's shining on that one a little bit maybe but it's on all the wings of all the bugs so that is hannah carl's on seasons and that is my very long-term whip finally complete so very happy to have that finally done okay next we have joanna basford's rooms of wonder and i've only managed to get one page completed um in the book this month now also these pages aren't in any particular order um for when they were colored or anything like that so the page i completed is the honey room page here and there is a two-part color along up on the channel and i absolutely adore how this page turned out i was looking um to do a soft spring palette and i didn't want to introduce too many colors because it is quite a detailed page um, even with the honeycombs, I tried to keep them quite a light, almost pale golden tone rather than the bright golden oranges that you would tend to see on a honeycomb. Um, originally, where I've added the 
metallic gold for the honeycombs i was going to do a mix of colors so add in um, a metallic pink blue and purple just to bring through the colors from the flowers i am glad i didn't end up doing that though as i think the page would have looked um quite a bit too busy in the end um and of course i did just a plain blue background as well um rather than green which is what i was originally thinking just so it um, was a little bit more cohesive and didn't add any extra colors into the page uh, so what did we use it was prismacolor pencils for all the pencil work uh, Sakura Jelly Roll Metallic Gold for all the shiny gold pen work you can see. Um, even on the centre of the flowers, which is hard to show up in pictures. That's a hard thing when you put the shiny elements on the page. Trying to get them to show up when you take a photo of them is really hard. Um, so... So on the honeycombs, it is bordering all the honeycombs and it's in the centre of the flowers. We've got it on this sort of like conveyor belt as well, our key, and just these little hooks hanging down as well. Okay, um, we've got Signo White, which I used on the jars just for some highlights um, and also to white out some of the lines on the jars. I wanted to look um, a bit more like glass. And we've got some Wink of Stella on the bee wings. I'm not sure if you saw any sparkle on them when I lifted it up before. And that is the Honey Room from Joanna Basford's Rooms of Wonder. Next is the Kawaii Tarot Colouring Book by Lulu Mayo. And the page I coloured in this one is the Knight of Wands here. And for this page, I used my Holbein pencils that were very generously gifted to me by the lovely Anna. Um, I used this as sort of a test page to see how they'd lay down and what the colours would look like. Um, I will be doing a colour along with these pencils, hopefully in April, on a double page in, I think it's Spirit Animals by Hannah Carlson. It's a Hannah Carlson double page. Um, now, on this one, I also used my Sakura Jelly Roll Metallic in gold, uh, which you can see in the border and on the stars. Um, we've got Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust in orange around the sun. I just spotted another Sakura Jelly Roll. Is that metallic? I think that's a metallic, sort of a bronzy colour on our little squirrels are they squirrels oh and on the bird as well um we've got the stardust in orange as well on the presents um secure jelly roll clear glaze on these little pom-poms and we've got the signo white on the pom-poms as well and even the little birds pom-pom i still don't know what um type of birds they are they look like little robins with a pom-pom on the top um, so that is Lulu Mayo's Kawaii Tarot. And our next book is the new book Flowerscape in Paradise by Maggie and Terios. And I coloured the Waratah and Flannel Flower page. Flannel Flower page. Try saying that three times quickly. Um, okay, so there is a colour along on the channel for this page as well. By the time this video goes up, the colour along should already be there. I think probably um, this is up yesterday, your time, <laughs> when you're seeing this. Um, if it is, I will pop the link up above for you. Um, now, I do also have a review and flip through for this book. Um, if you look under my playlists, you should be, be able to find the playlist for Maggie and Terios, and you'll find everything in there as well. Um, so I coloured this with Prismacolor pencils, and the background is Tim Holt's Distress Watercolor pencils. Now, um, the background I coloured after the flowers. I do wish I had gone a little bit lighter with the background, just because these flannel flowers, they look so pretty on the, against the white background um, and the colors here were jade green celadon green and i think gray green light that i used for the fennel flowers and that celadon green is such a pretty green um, 
they looked really nice against the white so i think i should have gone a little bit lighter on the background but i do love that speckled egg um distress watercolor pencil it feels really weird calling them pencils when they are nothing like a pencil but that is their name so um yeah so we use the distress watercolor pencils for the background um other than that the only oh no okay we've got the gold sakura jelly roll for the border as well um and then we've just got the white signo for the details on the flannel flowers so not too much on this page it is mostly pencil um and that is the new book flowerscape in paradise by maggie and terry us and our next page is from another new book which is a sweet critter's world by Eveline van kotsum and can you see that yes you can um so the page i colored in this book is the goose so this page is also a color along um i don't think this one will be up yet this one will probably be up um the day after <laughs> you see this video um but yeah if you look under the playlist again for eveline van kotsum you will find um, not only the flip through and review of this book you'll also find the color along and of eveline's earlier book as well um so I chose a limited palette here for this page um, and kept it to contrasting colours. And I feel like I've used a few spring palettes in my pages this month, um, although it is autumn here in Australia right now. So we coloured this with Prismacolor pencils for all of our pencil work. We have Sakura Jelly Roll Metallic in gold um, for the details on the top of her outfit here and also around her necklace, her pendant. We've used stickles on the pearls, um, all of the pearls on the page, and we've also used our white signo um, to, on the center of the flowers, but also around the edges of the leaves and all the flowers as well. So that is the new book, A Sweet Critter's World by Eveline Van Kotsum. Now, next up, we have another new release, which is Enchanted Earth from Melpomene Chatsapanagotu. And I managed to colour two pages in this book this month, both of which are colour alongs up on the channel. And you can also see a flip through and full book review of this um, on the channel as well. This is a beautiful new book. Um, so this is the first page we coloured our little postage stamp snail now for him i used prismacolor pencils for all the pencil work we've got neo color twos in the background uh jelly roll metallic gold for the border here and also the stars in the background too um we've got signo white for the rest of the stars um inside the flowers as well and also for some splashes down the waterfall and now i can see um is that a silver i think we've got some silver stardust in here too i didn't write that down just um am i imagining things i'm just looking at the moon that moon looks like a silver stardust and around here too i think we've got silver stardust here all these little circular ones yes i didn't write that down so we've got the stardust jelly roll in silver for all those little um little circular designs of stars and our little moon here as well okay and the next page also in this book is the locket now for this page i've used neo color twos for the background um, Prismacolor pencils again for all the pencil work, um, white signo uh, to add in all sorts of details on this page from the sky. So we've got stars in the sky, uh, water, um, details on the flowers as well. Um, we've got Sakura Jelly Roll Stardust in silver on these little things coming out of the island. I was picturing them like sharp steel blades protecting the castle. Um, I've also used a red jelly roll stardust on the flowers here um, and dropping down a little bit like 
pollen just to add a little bit of a shine on that side too so we've got the shine here from the silver so i put the red on that side so both pages had a little bit of shine and on all the little moons or planets perhaps they are um I also added a glow in the dark paint from Deco Art, which gave it a really fun effect. So um, I say fun effect because it's not really useful unless you're looking at your pages in the dark, but there is a picture of it at the end of the color along um, that I did take in a dark room during a storm. I did take it in daytime, but you can still see the glow, which was just um, just a fun little, little added extra. Um, also, I used the Ohuhu watercolour paints on the clouds as well. Um, so that is my two pages in Enchanted Earth by Milpameni Chatsapanagotu. And last but not least is my beloved Mythic World by Kirby Roseanne's. And I've coloured two pages in this book as well. And of course, both are colour alongs um, up on the channel for our full book color along um, now first we have the varangan here um, this page quite simple we didn't use too many too many things on here i knew what i wanted this page to look like as soon as i saw it um, these feathers were a labor of love i do really enjoy the final result but they did take a long time to color um, so on this page we have prisma prismacolor pencils um, white signo inside the eye um, and I think that's pen touch gold on those little birds. Yes, it is. Um, and I used the black jelly roll glaze just on their little bird's eyeballs as well. And our other page is the Groot Slang. Now, I was tossing up a couple of different palette ideas for this page. Obviously, I ended up going for the cool, icy, monochromatic effect. But my other idea was more of a desert theme with uh, ruby red jewels and amber crystals. I do really love the effect of the monochrome palette, though, so I'm glad I did decide on these colours. Um, now, this one was also a labour of love, colouring all of these crystals and all of this sort of icy land as well so for this one and I don't have it in full screen do I here we go so for this one we use Prismacolor pencils white Signo for all the details on the crystals um, there's jelly roll gla no no actually I think it's more glossy accents by the looks of it and it feels a lot more raised pretty sure that's glossy accents on his little eyeball there um, and we've got Jelly Roll Stardust in silver on his tusks and his little spikes. So that is everything we've done in Mythic, Mythic World. Yes, someone almost said Alien Worlds and I'm getting all my worlds mixed up. Mythic World by Kirby Roseanne's this month. Okay, guys, now as for next month, I've got a few big things happening. You may have seen the Kirby Community Collab that I announced up on uh, the channel. So I'm going to be colouring pages 82 to 83 from Alien Worlds for that project. And a big thank you to everyone for getting behind and supporting Ness and I with the project as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see the end result. Um, now, with those pages, I'm going to be filming not just a colour along, but it'll also be a bit of how to break down um, a Kirby page, specifically a super detailed page, how to break it down um, to make colouring a, a little bit less daunting. Um, I'm also doing it as a buddy colour as well with the lovely Alex, who is uh, Jamali Creative on Instagram. Uh, I also have a colour along coming very soon in the next couple of days from Layla Dooley's new book uh, and a review for that as well. Um, I mentioned earlier I have a Hannah Carlson double page planned with Holbein's. I'd also like to fit in at least one page from our two full book colour alongs, at least one page, hopefully more, um, which are Mythic World and Rooms of Wonder. If you have any suggestions for which page you'd like to see me colour next in those books, uh, let me know down below, hopefully some simpler ones as it's going to be another huge month. We've got the two double pages from uh, Alien Worlds and Hannah Carlson. So um, maybe a single page <laughs> would be nice. Um, I also have a suggestion for a page in, mythic in, mythical, 
in magical earth, sorry, um, with the rabbit. So the uh, mythographic magical world, magical world, magical earth. There's too many worlds, earths and planets happening at the moment. Um, so it was a suggestion for a page in magical earth, the mythographic book, um, with the rabbits. And someone also suggested um, from enchanted earth, I think it was the candle page. So that's also a possibility. Um, I'd also really like to colour another page in Flowerscape in Paradise, perhaps this time using polychromos. Um, so those are all on my hoping to do list. I very much doubt I will get all of them done. Um, the Alien Worlds page I think will take a good chunk of my time up. Plus school holidays also starts this Friday and it's Easter. Um, oh, and this bracelet you might have noticed me wearing. My daughter actually made this one for me. She's a little bit obsessed with clay beads. I think it's really pretty. I've got a K for Karen, um, obviously, <laughs> and a little moon. As she knows, I have a bit of a love for celestial bodies. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I will speak to you all in the next video. Bye for now.